Hi, I think it's about time that we actually take you from top to bottom on our exciting Trailblazer Streetmaster. So what we're going to do with the next few minutes is just simply show you all the details and all the features of how to land with your, your machine, open it all up and all the different aspects that you use when you're cooking. So the first thing you do when you arrive is you level your jockey wheel, which comes as standard with the machine until it's nice and level, no matter what level of ground. For example, it's a bit tilted here at the moment. And then what we do is we go around the back and we're going to drop down the prop stand. And what we normally do is drop the prop stand down as firm as you can or on the little block of wood that you decide to bring with you. And after you've done that, you just wind it up a few more winds. And what that does is that pins the prop stand to the ground. It gives her, makes her really stable and really safe. The next thing you want to do after that is to release the catches on your front table. So with permanent table, just drop straight down, bring the leg up, engage it with a little attachment there, and that's your front table ready to go. Unlatch your latches here for the gull wing doors and fix them. Before you open both gull wing doors, you can then take time and open up your vents. The nice thing about the vents is you can have both vents open, both vents closed, one vent open or one, or one vent closed. So that if you've got wind or rain coming in the wrong direction, you can actually spend time and just adjust that to whatever suits. Then you open the second gullwing door. What that now gives you is a very open, very visible um, multi-position cooking capability so you can cook from both sides. And then on what we call the driver's side, which is this side of the machine, we then a lift up side table, which is perfect for putting raw food, whatever you're cooking, from here to here. We have a large cooking surface, about one square meter, broken into three different zones with three different dividers, which allows you to have a lot of control. You have three instantly removable stainless steel, solid stainless steel grill surfaces, which can come off and on very quickly, which means that cleaning is, has never been easier. But you can also split it into three different zones. If you look at the wind-up mechanism, which is this here, it gives you instant heat control and you can bring it up as high as you want. And what that's going to do is allow you to really avoid any kind of problem with flare-up and heat control. So no matter what the weather is, no matter what the conditions are, you have a level to bring whatever heat you want into perfect control. It also gives you fantastic access to load charcoal and reload and replenish charcoal. And you've also got adjustable dividers, which you can see here that just lift in and out. And that gives you an ability to have either three cooking zones at different levels of heat, or to light up one zone on its own. Fundamentally, when you see this machine, it's a 600. We talk about BPH, burgers per hour. That means that this machine fully loaded can actually produce 600 burgers in an hour. So that's its capacity. But if you're doing a smaller event or working over a longer period of time, you might just want to light up one zone, or you might have one, one main steering zone, another zone at a lower level of heat. So what you've got is, is amazing levels of control to be able to search to whatever you want. When it's finished, the stainless steel bars just come out. You can power hose it, you can scrub it, do whatever you want with it. Um, but the whole machine is just like a car. You can you can clean it from top to bottom with a power hose and whatever way you want. So it's extremely easy to maintain the machine after you've finished. Now that we've covered the main grilling area, I'm just going to bring you around the back and let you see the smoker unit. So the smoker unit is housed in the back with two quick release latches, which gives you a lovely action. So literally closing that is literally, that's it, ready to go. And nicely sealed in. You've got two thermometers here. And if you look inside, it's all stainless, totally solid stainless steel. And what we have here is all your vertical racks. You've got your moisture tray, and below that you've got your firebox. And the firebox is basically what we call a minion maze or a maze, where you can run your charcoal around. Um, and if you look at this here, you've got your air vents here and here, and you've got your release points here. And then you've got your, your firebox here. You've got your water tray shelf and your heat deflector. And then you've got removable trays to give you a whole range of vertical. And you can take some trays out if you want to put larger joints and stuff in. And you can hang things from the top tray as well if that's necessary. What we then have is, so when you're cooking and when you light that up, 
we've then got the chimney fully closed fully open halfway so again with the two vents below and the top vent above you've got quite a high level of air control so you can do everything from a low and slow smoking but also a big deal is also the ability to have pre-cook or hold hot so that that's going to give a tremendous combination for the front grill system so what we do is when we have finished before you go home what you can do is if it is fully burnt out then you can scrape your ash out if not you can leave it until it's burnt out um, and then what the very easy way of cleaning it is using the scraper blade so built into the machine is a very convenient mechanism which is if you look here you'll see the blade and then this mechanism handle here so what you do fundamentally is lift out your, your two dividers lift out the front divider like that and then simply scrape your ash the whole way along and that ash will then drop into this ash box and then you've got the ash contained here that you can just dump in a safe place when you finish with it you put your ash box straight in very simply and very easily re-engage the blade lock that and then re-lock the scraper blade put in your dividers back into place what you can do before this if you want is you can clean this machine down perfectly by cleaning using your own stainless steel cleaner for keeping the inside panels clean you can take the grills off and power hose them with scrubbing them with our brush but you can then also power hose the machine just like a car with soap hot soap and water or whatever and clean it down throw the nose down a wee bit so as it runs down and then you can hose out and rinse out even the firebox which means you're bringing the machine back to a lovely spotlessly clean environment for the next go it's very quick it's very easy and it's very clean